Hello golfers, Eric Brzezinski, day 28 of our 30 day practice plan. And I've got some stuff pre-set up. Uh, first what you'll see is just something that's about this high off the ground, okay? Just, you can use a pool noodle, you can set it on a, a bar table, you could have someone hold it. But again, you'll notice it's pointing at that place right about here, the bottom of your sternum, your bottom of your shirt buttons. And I've also got this stick strapped to my back, okay? It's just a, a rope, as you can see, tied around. I want it kind of high up on my back, across my shoulders, trying not to let it sag down too low, okay? And this is gonna kind of show us where my shoulders are pointing, right? As I make a backswing, we can see the shoulder tilts are kind of mirrored by that stick. Today's drill focuses and builds on the previous drill where we talked about turning or twisting, tilting and extending, okay? And this adds a little bit of a transition feeling to that drill and helps you stay in those tilts, that whole downswing. The previous drill we did where we gripped the club like this and swung back like that, as you can see, the club and the, that stick will probably be matching pretty close to those same tilts. Or they should be, they should be pretty close there. Uh, today we're gonna do it gripping a club normally. And it's important to get this stick or whatever you have, you could use a pool noodle and get set it on a table, tape it to the back of a chair or have it sticking out of something Whatever, something, you, you'll figure something out, even if it's just having someone hold something there. But the point of this is, I want you to set up normally, have it pointing again at the bottom of your shirt buttons or the bottom of your sternum, okay? And I want you to make a backswing. And obviously you're not gonna be able to do this because I don't want you going above it. Nor do you need to go like this or something extreme and go way below it. Try to make what feels like a normal backswing. And you'll notice both of you get 90 degrees more or more of turn, okay, and that the stick passes under that noodle or arm or whatever you have sticking out. So again, there. Okay, and what this drill adds that we didn't see from the other drill necessarily is it adds a little transition drill because a lot of people will get to the top really nice like this and then they'll immediately go like this. Okay, if you position it a little bit differently. You can, you know, hit it or something like that. If this is, okay. You'll see that, you'll see that very quickly, that stick gets above this arm very, very quickly if I do that wrong, like that. And certainly if I went like this, then I could hit it if I have to dive back down at the ball. So what this adds is a nice little feel for the transition. Where I get here, almost back into the target, remember, as my arms get up to about here, I'll tend to shift, reshift forward that little bit. So you can see there, it clears it on the front side, still stays low, and then as I come down, right, that right side passes under it also. Okay, what I don't wanna do is, even if I do this part well, I don't wanna then round off and crash into it with that right side, okay? So, again, it's, putting a stick at about the middle bottom of the sternum, okay? Setting up, making it pass by under, pass by under again, and then that right side can come through on the downswing. You can hit shots like this, right? I'd recommend starting slowly. Okay, like that. But it really teaches you to tilt, turn, and extend. Have that little bit of fallback where your weight kind of falls forward that little bit and then really stay in your tilts as you come through the ball with that right side, okay? That's day 28. I'll see you again tomorrow.